Hi everyone, this is Cypher from Lancer Code. As you all know that ChatGPT can code for us. So why not we create our online game by using the help of ChatGPT. In this video, I will show you how we can create our online based game by the help of ChatGPT without any knowledge of coding. As I have no knowledge on coding, we will go from scratch and we will build a beautiful online game. So how to do this? Let's check out the video. So coming to our chat GPT, we will give a prompt, generate an HTML, CSS and JavaScript code for the six puzzle game. So we will create a puzzle game. So let's see what chat GPT provides us. So chat GPT has generated us the code and we will see if this code is working fine or not. And then we will use codepen.io to check if this code is working or fine or not. So just paste the code here. And you can see the game is now here. So just let's check it out. And you can see the game is working fine. All right. So this was a simple game. Let's try something different. So I will try another game. So let's do it. But this time we will go for another game that is two pedal games of one in right and one in left. So let's generate the code for this game. So here ChatGPT has generated us the code and now we will copy the HTML and put it in the HTML field. Copy the CSS, put it in the CSS field and we will copy the JavaScript and put it in the JavaScript field. And let's see if the game is working fine or not. So here you can see the game is now running, but there is some problem in the code. So we will fix this out. So let's do it. So here I have made some changes and we get a refresh code for this one. So let's check out the code now. So I'm copying the HTML code and I'm copying the CSS code also copying the JavaScript. Now, as you can see here, I can play move the right side of the pedal, but the left side of the pedal is not movable, so it should be played by the computer. So let's generate the code to pick this one so i have given that the left pedal should be played by the computer and the right pedal should be by the user now we are generating the new code so now as we get the new code just check this out with the new code so i'm replacing the html code replacing the css code and the javascript code And now you can see the left pedal is now running by the computer and the right pedal is by the user. So here we will create a very popular game that is called Flappy Bird. So let me give a prompt like, all right. So here we will generate a new code for a very famous online game that is called Flappy Bird. So let's see what ChatGPT provides us. So ChatGPT is providing us the code, HTML, CSS, and also the JavaScript code. Okay, now we will use this code in our code pen and see what the results come. So let's put the code here. So here you can see our game is now running. Now here you can see there is the uh, flappy bird. So I'm going to change some of the things like I want to change this uh, flappy bird into a bird and this uh, triangle into uh, the pipe into a pipe, real pipe. 
and the background of the canvas. So let's do that one. So to do that, I need to get the images. So here I'm going to just change like I need some customization. Change the part image to part and five. an image of a pipe and also the background of the canvas. Now let's see what ChatGPT provides us. So here it ChatGPT said like we need to replace the background the jpt bar the jpt and pipe the jpt so let's say uh, replace image for me so i'm giving it replace it for me and it says that with an actual urls of an image I will provide the URL for the background bird and pipe. So here I said I will provide the URL for the background pipe and that. so here. It, it asks for the background images, part PNG and pipe PNG. So here I'm going to use an online tool that is called post images. So this one I'm going to use post image and here I'm going to put the images of the part, pipe and everything. So here from here I will go and choose images. I'm going to take the images for the part. And the background so here they gave the images for the part so this is the url for the part image and it's the so this is the url for the image of the background and this is the url for the image of the part so just you need to do what you need to just copy this one And then in in your chat GPT, you can say use the URL for the part for the background. So I'm putting this URL. And uh, for the background, I'm using this URL and for for the part use this URL. So for the bar, I'm going to use this URL. And now the ChatGPT is providing me with the code with this background of the bar. Here you can see the source image is part PNG and background is background PNG. So this is the code that ChatGPT is now providing me. Now here I want to add some more modification in the game. So let's do it. So here I'm going to add some more adjustments. So let's say here I have given some prompt. The version, basic version of the game works fine. And then I gave some code like the bar should always remain with the boundaries, the canvas, and when the game dies. Ends, I'd like a pop up dialog for appear as long as the code uh, rewrite the HTML and CSS code, JavaScript code. And here are the modification you can just pause and see what are the modification I need and uh, all the things. So let's regenerate the code for now. And the GPT is regenerating the code for me.
So I have got the code right now. Now let's use this code. So copy this code and put it in the code pen. Then I'm copying the style code. Click in the code pen. And copy JavaScript code. In the JavaScript code. Asking for the images. So the images are not taken clearly. So let's say I will do it in a uh what is called in a folder of a file so not in code pen because this code pen is making some error so let's use this code in a folder so i'm crossing this one so here is the html code i'm putting the html code and then let's say the javascript code so that i have generated from the chat gpt and the javascript code and the style css code so here you can see i have the code like html code here for the image so from the for the image i am taking the bird image and uh, enter to start the game then the, for the script i have uses the chat gpt script and for style css i have uses this one now let's go and see if the game works are fine or not now click on this index html and i'm opening with chrome and you can see the game is now changed. Say, uh, we have changed the background. We have changed the entire game. And if you click on up arrow control key, you start the game. Arrow up to control. So here we will give the arrow up to control. So this is what ChatGPT can do for us. We have started from the scratch and we have come up with a pretty impressive game. The possibilities are limitless and the outcome is super impressive. So it's your turn to try it out. Do subscribe the channel to see more interesting video like this. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.